Hey, we back with another one. You feel me? It's no jumper, man. And I'm almighty. Y'all know what we doing. <laughs> you feel me? I got a real special guest in here today. You feel me? I done known her for a long time. We're going to get into that. You feel me? Grew up with her. Long story. Y'all going to find out real soon. But you know what I'm saying? She been dropping singles for a long time, bro. Dropping freestyles for a long ass time. You feel me? She been doing her shit. Working hard for a real long time. You know, from her songs. L.A. shit. You feel me? To go shorty. She got bangers for real, you know? You feel me? So for the one and only, man, introduce yourself to the people. Yeah, Puerto Rico, I need bitch. Y'all know what the f*** you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. How you feeling today? I'm nervous. Nervous? Oh, yeah. Don't be I'm nervous. Okay. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. I know. It's family. it's family. You know, it's family for real. We yeah. good. No cap. Man, so I want to let the people know exactly, you feel me, what you do, who you are, you know what I'm saying, your early life, you feel me? So, you feel me? For the people who don't know, you feel me? Tell them what you do, you feel me? And, you so know. What don't I do? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, um, I'm an artist, for real. What is, like, an artist? I could dance, I could sing, rap. Um, yeah, I could just perform around you, bitch. For real. That's a fact for a <laughs> long time. You feel me? So let's get right into it, man. Tell us about your early life, how you grew up, you feel me, where you from, et cetera. Uh, I'm from South Central LA, uh, right there on Manchester in 87. Uh, for the TK source, I would say probably for the first 10 months, it was smooth. I was stable. Oh, my bad. I was stable, uh, you know. I got a crazy family. I got a gangster dad and a uh, Lovable mom. My mom's with the business, too, but, you know, she's the lovable one. My dad's, like, the crazy side. And then, um, you know, just real strict parent. Like, my dad was real strict. Like, I couldn't even fucking stand outside because we was in Manchester right there by Fig. So if I was standing outside, I was a prostitute. Mm -hmm. I would get called a prostitute or whatever the fuck, stupid shit. But uh, we were stable for, I would say, like, the first 10, 10 years right there in South Central. And then after that, it was just a fucking mess. Like, you know, we was moving everywhere. Well, I'm talking like, we wouldn't even get evicted type shit. It would be more so we would get into it with hoods or mm -hmm. like we would get into it right there in the area. And then, you know, the house would get shot up. The house, would, you know, just. This is pops, he's the game just, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and, okay. you know, my brother said, you mm -hmm. would. You know, they just not, they never let themselves, you know that. Like, Facts. We, we not like that. We. If we're going to play ball, we're going to play ball. And we take it to that extent. So that's why it was always like, you know, bush. But uh, for the most part. Tell them how many siblings you got. I got four. I got four. three brothers and one little sister. Mm, how was that growing up? Which child is you? Like middle? I'm the middle child. Uh, how was that? Having um, older and younger? It was honestly the best of both worlds. Mm. Like my brother, I, I, I feel like my brothers really raised me like, Damn, they got more of, like, the best of my parents, I would say. Mm. Like, my, my little brother and my little sister. But uh, me, I feel like I was more raised with the boys. Like, mm -hmm. my brothers used to be my ass. My dad used to be my ass. Like, I I grew up with my brothers. Like, I couldn't, we couldn't even come home without each other. If we, can't, if we all didn't come home together, one of, we all getting our ass beat when we got home. You know, That's type they would yeah. round each other up before they went home because yeah. they had to come in the house together. Yeah. That's a fact. And then if my brother couldn't find me or another couldn't find me, they would meet me somewhere and they'd kick my ass for them trying to find me type shit. And, and then, man, around that time it was fun. You know, we were running packs, like walking up that fucking hill, like just doing it up, going to Taco Bell, the dance battles at McDonald's and all that shit. You remember all that shit? Like, what the f like, Hell that's yeah, what made crazy. me, it what? It was but crazy. So, like, um, after y'all moved from Manchester, where did y'all go? We went to, uh, yeah, to Hunger. Mm. Mm -hmm. So We went was, to the SFV. What was that like, you feel me, going from, from South Central to that small-ass city, you feel me, moving out Bruh, there? Like, how was it? It was kind of, like... Was it a culture shock? Nah, for, for sure. Mm. For sure. Yeah, like, uh... It was different, fool. Like, uh, like you, you could see the difference. Like when we went in, we automatically it we was at us a, crazy. yeah, like yeah, you know what's up. Like, <laughs> and we just wanted to be like us too. So I didn't give a fuck. Like you feel me? Like so I didn't give a fuck. But other than that, yeah, it was a culture shock. You know, like we was already getting harassed by the police and shit. But over there, it was worse. Like school police was on our ass. Like. Bro, they knew, like, they were, like, right, every school I would go to, it would be, like, Palmetto, like, come, like you know, like, mm -hmm. they already knew it was cracking over there, like, so, yeah, it was, a bu it was bullshit, 
like we get into a lot of shit over there. Hmm. But it was cool. The shit everywhere. Shit. That's a fact. At this age, um, was you like? What came first, dancing or rap for you? Dancing. And what age was this? For sure. Um, damn, since I was little, fool. Like, I my mom, since we were little, she would always walk around with a video camera. Hmm. And I just push everybody out the way, like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> you know, like, I'm the one, like, type shit. And uh, I, I was, now I feel like it really started, like, singing, kind of, because... I would always ask for a karaoke machine since I was little. Hmm. And I would always just, like, be in the camera dancing. I would watch, like, dancing movies growing up, like, Honey, Bring It On, Honey was the Step sh- Up, like, all that shit, like, you know? I I would watch, like, anybody performing Re- Rebelde, like, the novelas and shit, like, shit like that. Selena, like, my first CD was a Selena CD. So, mm. yeah, so Who gave my, it to you? my mama mm. for Christmas, yeah, she gave me that with the karaoke machine and when they would leave the whole house I'll get a broom and I would stand in the corner of the fucking couch and I would sta- I would get on you know how the couch has that like where you sit your arm mm-hmm, the arm rests on it yeah I would stand on that shit with the broom my little ass and I'll pretend I'm singing for everybody <laughs> like looking down uh, so you knew for since you was a since kid I was that little, this is what yeah, you wanted to do but dancing like I don't know how like I got to do some ancestry shit. I don't know. I think it's me for real. But nah, I'm just kidding. But I think, I don't know who, I don't know who, it was my, bro, like, we'll get into that. But yeah, like the dancing came out, like probably in school, like they they was just trying to like get me into something to stay out of trouble type mm-hmm. shit. And, um, so like a dance in school or the classes or something? Yeah, like just like, they would be like, what do you like to do? Like, right. and I, I ain't in the music school. I'm not about to start Rapping at y'all because I'm about to talk to my, like, you know? Mm-hmm. So I was just like, man, okay, trip out. So if you look at my real name, like, I've, like, I've competed. Like, I'm mm-hmm. Miss Dance Drill Team USA. Like, I won a gang of gang of just like, and that shit mean a lot. What was Drill Team? Was this, like, middle school or something, high school? Nah, it was Miss Dance Drill Team USA. So oh, it's, okay, okay, So it's okay. dance and drill team. Teams, they, they don't go against each other because it's two categories different, you know? But they had their own category, and we had our own. And I would be going against other schools and what shit. What age is this? Yeah, uh, this is probably when I was, like, in sophomore year. Okay. But I bit, like, in elementary, I was still doing, like, little, like, dances and stuff. Uh, the first team I had gotten into it was like an elementary, elementary, but excuse me, elementary, but I got kicked out of it because I threw a pencil at my teacher. Mm. So it was some stupid ass shit. She pissed me off. But anyways, fucking, um, that was like the first time. And then after that, I didn't get into no teams into like high school, like mm-hmm. teams, but I was always dancing. Like I would put TV on and learn dances, like just watch them and then I'll just learn it. Like, you know, but I just think I'm naturally a performer, like. And so the dancing came first. Okay, yeah, so. and I think that's where the competitive shit do come about, too, because mm-hmm. if we go on, like... Them real dance competitions. Win. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, type shit. And I feel like, my bad. So from the dance, I think dance and that shit got me into the rapping because more so I was like, you know, dancing is like more for the back type shit. And I didn't really like that. Like, mm-hmm. I, when I was in a team and stuff, bro, I was eating all the of like the so- the sophomore seniors dancers all of them hip hop wise was fucking them up you know my my coach would even tell me like I need her in the front like and then I would even tell him like get like I could tell like she kind of butt her like she want to be in the front like get her in the front and he'll like try to do it and he'll be like hell no nah, I want you in the front like yeah. you need to come back to the front yeah so I, where was I going with this okay so oh yeah, yeah. how you got I, into the dancing yeah, yeah, and then okay, the rapping so with the dancing I got you yeah just because I was so good at dancing and like the versatility like I could mm-hmm. dance to anything, I would felt like that's why I'm so good with. See, I'm so good with music because I got an ear for music and I know what can make shit move. Like, and I know how, like I've been through real shit, so it's like not like I'm popping it. Like I'm really, it's it's all authentic. Like it's no bullshit. So, yeah. now that's a fact. You you have been you have lived a crazy life. You for me speaking of that, can we get into like what some of the earliest crazy memories you got? Like family wise, yeah, give me something. Okay, well, crazy so, in general. It's a lot. It's I know. A lot. <laughs> okay, this so this for the fans, you know, I know. Um, damn. Give us it's a good one. A lot of shit I can't say because it's like. Give us one you could. Give us one you could say. Nothing too. It don't gotta be that crazy, but give us something you could say. Okay, so I remember one time, right? Damn, but I'm not gonna say. You don't gotta get too specific. Uh, oh, okay. You gotta oh, get too specific. Look, I'll say the craziest. Shit in my life. You know what? I was gonna talk about some like family shit 
fighting shit. But look, this is what the crazy shit that happened to me for. All right, so look. This is the reason, too, like, in 2000, I'll say, like, 2017, I had to drop out of school because it's shit. Okay, so, boom, we moved to, we moved somewhere, whatever. We ended up getting into it with some hoods. That's when y'all left to hunger. Yep, and we was all over the place after that, like, mm -hmm. all over the place. That's when I didn't see y'all no more. Yeah, all over the place, fool. So we moved to some some certain hood, I'm not going to say, because fuck them. You don't got to. Yeah, yeah. We moved over there. And, you know, same thing, like, my brothers, you know, my brothers was all about their paper. Mar Mauricio would bust it if he had to. He didn't give a fuck. Like, my brothers was making money since kids, so, like, they gonna do what they have to do. Facts, yo. Even I will get into that. Your brother put me on a lot of shit. I ain't mm -hmm. gonna lie. <laughs> Let's not say. I'm just getting, um, but, um, me too. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, you know, we just, they banged out. They, you know, walking, rocking to go to work, fools fuck with them, whatever. And a whole bunch of bullshit ends up happening, and we end up getting with them. Jason keep Jason Mauricio fucking these fools up back these to are back. Brothers. Yeah, Jason Mauricio fucking these fools up back to back. So it's old heads coming and coming. Like it's not. It's just getting worse and worse type. Shit. So one time, um, we all happened to stay home from school one day, and this was beef ongoing. We all happened to stay home from school day. Me, Mauricio, and Jason, and we just hear like Mauricio's in the shower for him. And I'm in the living room. Jason's passed out in the uh, couch. And then you just see my brother Mauricio run out. He goes, my dad. And But in his boxers, full wet as fuck. Like, and he was a towel on his thing. He's like, my dad, you guys don't hear that? So he runs out and we hit the cut because we had like a house where like our garage was right here. And then this was the front. So we had this all open. The cars was right there. And then this was the front. He runs like that. And we, Jason hops up. We run. And my dad's getting down with like three like my bad three fools <laughs> three fools three fools and then um um yeah he's getting down with him and then my mm. brothers then they start getting down with them i'm not gonna say what would happen after that but something it got bad, crazy it got crazy yeah yeah, yeah. it got crazy so that, uh, i guess they ended up coming to the house that day they, they shot up the crib it gets worse after that you know you know, it get crazier. Yeah. So then, boom! One day we have we're going to my grandma's house. Boom! We're on the freeway. This is why I don't drive anymore. I I know how to drive. But you scared? Okay, to drive. I'm scared as f to drive. Hmm. Like, bro, all the cars that I bought, they'll sit in the garage. I'll smoke a blunt in that motherfucker, right? Like, but I'm not like I'm my Uber. I'm sorry, but you scared like, to drive? Like I'm That's scared crazy. to drive. So they cut the brakes. They I don't know what. But they cut our real Serenio shit. They cut our brakes, fool. We're in the freeway. <laughs> we're on what? the freeway. Like, we're on Manchester. Like, fool, we end up like going past Florence, all that shit. Like, we end up the car. We, we, I don't even know how to say this because we didn't even get coffee. But, um, we hit like my, the car didn't stop. We hit a gang of cars, it was crashing everywhere. Like, mm. my dad was trying to, like, me, it was me, Big Head, my brother was the priest. Uh, me, Big Head, and my little brother, JC, and my little sister. The whole family was in the car. We was Damn all man. in the car. We mm -hmm. were always rolling with my pops, you know? So we was all in the car, and yeah, it was, it was bad. Well, I remember I was like, damn, we're going to die. Like, and then we got to the point where it stuck, so you can't move. Like, we literally was just going to the gas right now. Like, I don't know how there was no choppers, no cops. Like, God was... Uh, God was with y'all that yeah, day. Yeah, because mm. that was probably one of, like... Like scariest parts of my life, but there was more crazy. Like, damn, that's crazy as hell. So once you get into the dancing and then the music, you feel me? Like, what were some of the first songs you recorded? You feel me? Like, and and how old was you when you really got into the rap? Like, all right, I'm finna rap. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I didn't want to do no music. Like, hmm. uh, I would like, I would literally, I would okay. So when I would try to write, I would try to write singing songs, like mm. sing, stuff to sing, and I'm like, man, like this, like, nah, I don't, I'm this not, not with this shit, yeah. But I could sing for real, but I just I can't I probably can't write a singing song type shit. But um maybe actually yeah I can. Uh but rapping, like uh I think one day I was just like, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. And then I'm like, damn, I'm pretty hard. Like I fuck with this shit. Who else so, you to rap? Uh my brother. Yeah. Uh they put me on to like the rappy shit mostly. Like my brother Mauricio, like he put me on to like Lil Wayne, like all all them fools, like Westside Connection, Eastsiders, 
the game, like I will listen to all that shit, Ice Cube, all this, but because of them, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, and then if I was to play girl shit, they'd be like, man, turn that shit off. Like, what the fuck? Like, play some gangster shit. Like, so then I would have to hear that. Shit. Like, I would hear it, but I fucked with it, you know. And then Jason too, like, uh, he would write a lot, but that fool was more like, let me write a song for you type shit. Like, mm. he never wanted to be like in the. He was camera. never a, a He hated front. recording he never, himself. Fool. He never liked being. I don't in the know if you remember ever. too, but like say like when the run, like I don't I don't know if you was there for a couple, you was there for a lot of shit, but when there was that one rumble, like I I don't know if you remember when my brothers went around the whole group and they were like, if any of y'all fucking record, it's all it's on your ass, like this. Shit better not Them come niggas out. really lived by the old code. Yeah, you couldn't record nothing. You couldn't. He didn't like being like they're, they're just like you know. But him, he was mostly like, man, keep doing it. Like, you keep doing that shit. And I remember one time, it's so vivid, too, because this is before he passed. Like, the... <clears throat> um, you got it. Okay, hold on. No, you all right? Take a little bit. You good. Okay, um, you got this shit. Like, right before he passed. <clears throat> okay. You all right? Okay, you all right? Okay. You got it. It was crazy, too, because... Like, he would hear my songs, where he would just be like, man, I ain't heard you spit for real. Like, man, I, was, and I would be scared to spit from in front of him, you know? Mm. But one day we was outside kicking it, like, and it was some other fool with us, too. And then he was like, man, you don't spit. I spit better than, like, you don't spit. Like, so I'm like, man, he I'm trying to make you spit. Rap. Like, I'm like, yeah, he would always do that shit. Like, <laughs> impress me. Like, you know, so, man, I fucking rap. He's like, you a rapper? Yeah, I rap. He's like, rap then. And I'm like... Man, you ain't no rap. Like, you know, he was just punk me type shit. So I started rapping for him one day, and I know, like, he seen that he was like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. He tripped out. He's like, your delivery's crazy. Like, and he gave me a big, he gave me a big ass hug that day. Mm. He, yeah. Our bro was the GOAT, man. Now you good. You feel me? You good. We got this shit today. No yeah. cap. We got this shit today. You feel me? Yeah, he Hell gave yeah. me a big ass hug that day, and then I think that's when I was like, oh shit, like. I'm finna rap. I like this shit. Like, I like the. The love that I was getting from my family type shit. Because when they, they always knew that I was like, a creída, like, you know, was in Spanish, like, you know. But, like, they always knew I was meant, for, like, to do this shit. It was just, I'm so uh, overthinker and I'm so, like, I don't know. I got anxiety shit. I don't trust people, obviously, you know. So, you got a but, crazy life. Yeah, so I don't, I, you, it's rare you really see me outside. If, if I really with you, I'll come, but other than that, I'm in the house with my mom learning, you know, like taking care of my family type shit. Hell yeah, so once you start rapping and shit, um, well, do you remember the first song you recorded? Yeah, I do. Um, shit, okay, so the first time I got in, this is the first time I ever got in the studio. Um, I was some stripper bitch. I was living with her because I was, we was, okay, so yeah, we was homeless at, at the time because, yeah, we got every... Okay, we, uh, that's what I was going to say. We would get evicted, but not because we was broke or anything, because we wasn't broke. It was just the owners would be like, oh, hell no. Nah. Like, right. my house getting shot. Like, all this shit. Like, nah, get the fuck up out of here. Like, so it was hard. And, like, to, you know? So we was in momos and garages for a while. And at some point, like, you know, it was getting hectic in there. Like, it's a little ass garage and there's a fucking 10 of us. Like, right. what? Like, I'm out of here. Like, I got to go do something. And I was a school, high school dropout already, you know, at that time. So I was living with my homegirl. She was a stripper and shit. And then um, I ended up moving to uh, Westminster, like over there. Mm-hmm. And the first producer. Like Orange I, County type shit. Yeah, yeah. And the first producer I really like fucked with was um, Darren Vegas. He used to like produce for like Tupac, De- like Death Row and shit like that. And um, yeah, like that was the first time I heard myself on a track type mm-hmm. shit. Like I actually sat and wrote something like. Before I would just like, just like, freestyle yeah, shit. or like I'll write it and memorize it because I can't really freestyle. I have to like memorize that shit and I'll have it like in my head type shit. Mm-hmm. And then, um, him, he heard me. He's like, who, who are you? Like, what the fuck? And I'm like, eh, me. At first I was like shorty, like, because that's what everybody knew me as shorty. Mm-hmm. Like, and then, um, you know, he heard me. He was like, man, let's like, let's get something going. Like, you dope as fuck. Like, and you're Latina. Like, what? Like, you don't hear like this shit. Facts. And I actually, Took my brother Big Head um, to him for the first time, but Jason ended up getting locked up and he didn't finish the song. I, once I'll show you it eventually. He recorded mm. his own shit one time, but it was just that. for him, for mm. him. And that shit is deep, fool. And he heard my brother and he was like, 
Oh, your brother writes crazy. Like, he sound like a fucking Latino Tupac. Like, mm. like, the shit he's saying is like, what the fuck? Like, he was even telling me, like, you should let him write for you at some point. But I was always like, man, what the fuck? I, hell nah. Right now. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> so he never got to finish that record, but uh, he had one. But yeah, I, my first song was with Darren Vegas. Shout out, Darren. Um, How that shit make yeah. you feel hearing yourself? I tripped for the first out. Time. For him. I'm like, what the fuck? Mm, so that shit made you more confident. Yeah, like, I like, really want to do this shit. Nah, yeah, it for sure did. Like, uh, I was like, man, I, it gave me like a foot in, foot out type shit. Like, I was kind of like, all right. Like, if I could, if I really, because if I put my mind to it, I could do anything I want to fucking do. You feel me? It's just more so if I have a bad feeling about anything, any little thing, I'm not, I can't. And then I know, like, yeah, I don't know. It, you know, it's like, you know who you want to work with, type shit, producers, type. It's not right, it's just not right. And for me, music is all about feeling type shit, so I don't know. Yeah, that was the first time I did with my song. I haven't worked with him in a while, but um, yeah, that, that was the first time I had recorded, like, my recorded myself, and I was like, damn, I'm hard. And if I believe in myself, that's even better. Facts. Like, mm -hmm, so. That's a fact. So what, what's your studio process like? like? Like, you feel me? Like, walk us through... Uh, Snooze. A uh, day you getting ready to go to the studio, you feel me? And then when you in there, um, you feel me? what's your process like? Damn, bro. I don't even know. I low key, I always try to be like, oh, I'm going to write to this shit before I go in type shit. You try to go prepare. Yeah. It don't work like that. Because then that day I'll end up being like, I don't feel like that. Like, I'll, I, it has to be that day. Like, I have to record it within that day or like how I feel that day. It has to be recorded because the next day I'm on to something else. Like, mm. I, like, I'm, I don't know. I got ADHD, fool, so I'm just like, okay, what's next, like, type shit. And if I, I'm writing so much where I'm rereading and thinking about it, I'm like, ah, oh, this shit not cold enough, like, and I'll just... Scrap it. Yeah, so a lot of the time, my studio sessions would be me, like, oh, like, record this, hold on, let me let me come out, let me see how that sound, like, type shit. Perfectionist. Yeah, You're calling perfectionist, a perfectionist, bro. Mm-hmm, perfectionist, like... Even too, like, even if I, with the person that I'm working with at the time, I'll be like, oh, yeah, it's cool. I'll go home and listen to me like, this shit trash. I'm yeah, like recording that shit. that shit at another studio. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like. Sometimes that shit sounds hard always, as fuck. It, it really depends on, like, who you have in there and who, what, what energies are in there because. So you big on energy. Yeah, big, bro. Some, like, uh, recipes, my, my boy, 89, like, um, that was who I really, really fuck with. Like, you know, like, that fool. That was your Darren main engineer was that or, or main engineer. Or that was my partner. That was basically gonna be like my manager type shit. Yeah, you know, like that was that was my everything. That was my like literally like one of my best friends too. Like that fool took me in when I was hungry, when I didn't have a, like nothing to eat. Like you know, like and that fool believed in me so much. Like mm -hmm. so that's really like what where age did you I, link up with him? How old was you? Shit, when was this pop? Like like five years ago, two thousand nineteen. No. Yeah, around beginning of 2019, okay. I met him through my boy Snoop. Shout out my boy Snoop. She shoots all my videos and stuff, tap in with him. Um, I met it through him. And I, that first day we linked, bro, we made uh, Go Shorty, like that first time. And, and that's your hot. Yeah, good looking. Appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, featuring my boy. Y'all go check that out. But um, him... The Darren Vegas shit, like when I first heard myself, I was like, cool, but I got real life shit going on, so it's like, whatever. So it's it's hard. That's another question that I want to ask you. Like, how do you how do you um maneuver through your personal life and your rap life? Like how do you juggle both? I could put them together. Mm. Like Speak on that a little bit. Because rap is what you're talking about, right? This your life is what you're talking about. That's why I feel like Excuse me, but that's why I feel like I'm so different from all these other hoes because you could tell they're lying. Like you could tell they're lying, and then when people authenticity not there, bro, stop playing. Yeah, authenticity. And is when not they there. ask you, like, what you ask me, talk about like, be like, oh, it's just crazy, bro. Like, bitch. But it's whatever. No story. It's nothing, bro. It's nothing, like, and bro, like. Besides this rap shit, like, motherfuckers know who the fuck we is. Like, I don't care what nobody say. They know who the fuck our family is, what our last name hold, what I, what I could do, what my brothers, everyone could do individually in my family type shit, you know? So I don't give a fuck. 
What was the question? Sorry. <laughs> I was getting, nah, that's I, good. I, I was getting this mad, your first man. interview. You feel me? You gotta show the people who you is. You know they want to know who you is for real. You no, know? yeah, oh yeah. So yeah, for the for the juggling your personal life and your rap yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, man. You gotta th- yeah, you gotta put that shit into your music. Like some stuff. Like I will say, there's a lot of songs, like real personal songs. I have too. Like sometimes you gotta just do it for yourself. Like fuck. Like don't. Like just just. Talk to yourself like you would want somebody to talk to you type mm. shit. Like so, I would like kind of like talk like letters to my pop shit like that. Like it's all too like for me type shit. And when when I when I, when y'all could get that side of me, then y'all get it. But it's like you, the music has to be about you. Like it's not gonna feel authentic at all. What you gonna rap about? You pop, like you gonna be like oh. I'm going through this at home, but I'm gonna talk about getting money and all this shit. But you broke but I'm as not fuck getting at no home. Money. Yeah, like, right. what is you doing? Like, so yeah, no. Nah. So how do you speaking of that? How you feel about like the state of female rap right now? You feel me speaking of that? Like, how you feel about it? Um. <laughs> what you think we need more of? You feel me? Like, that, what's what's missing? I think authentic authenticity. Like, I think a lot of hoes is lying. Like. You can tell the way you talk, the way you standing, the way you talking, the way you looking, like the way you so friendly with, like you, you know, man, what, like I don't know, but I think what I have that nobody else got is performance. I, bro, I want to go to the Grammys. You perform your ass off. Thank you. With, with the choreography I appreciate mixed that. In. She perform and her then, ass off. And that's just me. Imagine what I could that's do missing. with. We missing that from rap. Motherfuckers just stand there. With the mic, yeah, no we need to bring uh, the J- Michael Jackson's, Chris Brown's, all that shit back. Like, I feel like that's what I bring as a female. Like, bro, I could perform. Give me a whole fucking choreo. Like, bro, I could choreograph. I could do formation. Like, I could really put on a stage. Like, I could really perform. Like, I'll put. Mm-hmm. I could put the mic down and set it off. Like, mm-hmm. with and your with first or without. Speaking of that. Do you remember your first performance? Bro, where was it? Bro, Break us down bro, with that it one. was okay. It was go sorty, huh? That had to be. Okay, okay, okay. So that was when I was like, I'm going to do this shit. The, our first go shorty uh, thing, like, it was just invite only. Come if you want to be in the video type shit. Bro, how many people we had in that motherfucker? That shit was packed inside and out. And I was just like, they was just fucking with us off the string. Like, I wasn't even really like, if you knew me, you knew me. Like, right. But we just posted that shit one day, posted that shit one day, and then... Everybody was showing love for like if I was already, if I already had like did it like anything anything you do that you haven't done feels like you've made it so so I that when I had did that bro we was receiving so much love like and it, I, it wasn't even a it was a performance because it was for the video like for the video we had to perform ah so you had a performance in the video and that was your first performance yeah okay okay, okay. but it felt like I was perf- like it was my it was our shit, but I, it felt like my real first performance because it was a gang of motherfuckers there. And mm. every in the video, you could see like everybody knew our shit. Like it, they already knew, how, like already knew the song, everything. So when I was looking at them do that shit, Spencer, I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, okay, this shit finna go. Mm. This shit gonna go the right way. If we do keep doing this shit off the muscle, it's gonna go. So I was like, "Yeah, this shit cool." Mm, see, not that's fire for sure, for sure. You feel me? Uh, do you feel like you face any challenges? You feel me? Being in a, a male-dominated uh, industry, and you, you feel me, female rapper? You feel like you face any challenges? Hell no! Nah. You know how many motherfuckers have? Man, I, oh, speak on it. I, but I'm not gonna say no names. But <laughs> there's a lot no of. Names. I'm not gonna. You got to. I'm gonna say. We'll speak on that shit. There's a lot of rappers. I'm saying no to y'all favorite rappers. They're rappers, whatever. What what's it called? Um, you could tell they're not even with it like that either. But whatever. Some of them have hit me up before too to like get on the song and shit. I'll get on a song and I eat their ass up on that song and they won't release it. Hmm. That I know that's, that's happened that, to you has, that has that that's happened to me a quite a gang of times. That's crazy. Has that happened to you? That's for sure happened. To yeah, me like before. they'll be like, oh nah, they gassed me on my song. I'm not dropping that. I shit. I'd had a nigga re-record his shit before for sure and be like, I'm finna send another verse. I'm finna redo it. You feel me? I'm. I'm gonna do that shit over type shit. Hell yeah, yeah that nah. That that's why I really like when I do work with artists. It hasn't happened a lot because I really don't really care about working with artists, uh, a suspect, except you. We all gotta <laughs> do some shit. It's good. Um, but I really, I always want to be like hands on. So I feel like it's better for both to be in studio. I yeah. Don't like that email I don't like that sending back and forth shit. Like I really don't because what if I, you can fuck with my mix, bro. Like, and that's happened to me too. Like, 
anytime, okay, that not the only reason I don't work with girl rappers is because I haven't seen real authentic ones mm. first. And because if I do see somebody that I do end up fucking with, them bitches will try to like do something to my mix or like try to make me sound like a little bit, I don't know, or like they just want to release a song type shit. Like, you mm. know, I guess you so type shit. But it don't gotta be like that. We could be like with in the same room and love each other, just like the, the dudes do it. But bitches is just like, mm mm. But if y'all do see like real authentic bitches and like real hood bitches, to so you send them away. Yeah, because do you feel like your personality? Do you feel like your personality showing your music? Yeah, for yeah. sure. You think so? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. I think I perform real well. You could tell when I'm talking to the camera. You know, I'm. You know, what I'm talking about even like. That's why I too a lot. Of, like mm, I don't know. You could just tell when somebody lying for like. So, <laughs> and that too, my 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 boy Snooze, that fool be on my head. Like if it's not like a good, be he's like, I'm not recording that. We mm. do that again. Like your energy's off, like you know he be on my head, so that it it really like whenever it does go good or I do drop something, it's cause the team behind it was good, like at that time, you know, mm. cause bro, how you gonna have? It's like a roller coaster. You gonna have, that motherfucker gonna go, but if one loose screw is off, and that shit fall, the whole ride is gonna fall. You That's get me? It gotta so, be a working engine. Everybody yeah, gotta play their role. Yeah, exactly. So I feel like when I do, it's cause I feel like the time is right type shit. Mm. Nah, I, I think that's fire. Um, how do you handle criticism and uh, negative shit when people be hating? I don't. I don't be on the internet. That's the problem. Y'all motherfuckers got to get off the internet. Mm, like, what the fuck? I don't be on the internet. I swear to God, I got a real life. I take care of my brother's son sometimes, you know? I take care of my god kid, my, god kid, my nephews, nieces. I help my mom. Like, we lost two people, so I, I take care of the bills too, like... That's why y'all bitches always out. Y'all got money for that shit, like, because y'all bitches don't pay no bills. Y'all not paying nobody else's bills. Y'all not doing nothing. So, you know, but the hate, I don't, I, before I swear, anybody would tell you, like, I, I the only time I'm on my phone is when I'm at work. Hmm. If I'm at home, I'm cleaning. I want my mom downstairs, like, talking, like, and if I ever do post shit, I just put my phone, like, I'll post it and leave it and I'll look at it later. And if I, and honestly, fool, I don't really get hate like that. I get a lot of love. So if you are hating, you're just a hater. Mm, that's right. Yeah. For me, you just had to ask for me because, you know, some people don't handle hate well, you know? Nah, I don't they care. let it get to them, let it bother them and shit, you know what I'm saying? I mm -hmm. think it's good that motherfuckers have examples. So I ain't like that shit, don't bother me. Nah, you know? yeah, I don't care. Because you're not going to do that to me in real life. See, you heard it. <laughs> you feel me? That shit don't bother you know? for real. Man, you feel me? Let's let, let's get into some more shit, man. You feel me? Cause motherfuckers gonna watch this and they gonna be like, they know each other. You feel me? Let's tell the people. Like they how, talking like they homies. You feel me? This this family for real. I didn't know her since I was like what, like eight, eight or nine, some shit. Like since elementary school. You feel me? Like, no, for I, real. I went to school with her for a long time. Y'all done turned motherfuckers out from the skinny jeans. Made them turn fucking wear. Y'all was man. And yeah, speak on this. Y'all was on how some we met crazy when we was shit. Bro. <laughs> Bron's crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I said you. <laughs> My bad. Okay, okay. Let's not. Let's not. Tell What's it called? Um, bro, how fighting y'all? Well, basically, I feel like y'all. We all really met because we're from the same area. Like we all from the same area. Y'all, y'all clicked instantly. Like he just brought this fool home one day. <laughs> like what the fuck? I was like. That's I was like, okay. Her and brother. then the first thing that my brother told me, I swear, I swear, my brother told me this fool could get down, so I don't care. Like, you with me, like this fool could get down. And anybody could get down. Like, if you could get down, you good. Cause you're not gonna be no bitch when you fucking with my brother. So. Nah, that's a fact. A lot of people will look at us crazy because they like, what is you doing with this bald head Mexican yeah. with the long socks? <laughs> I'm like, nigga, this is my boy. And just like how he would do that, I would do the same thing. I'm like, this little nigga got heart, nigga. He gonna squabble anything. Ain't nobody yeah. gonna tell us nothing. You feel me? Now we met as kids. You know what I'm saying? So like, um, damn, you feel me? Yeah, me, me and your brother met. We was young as hell. You feel me? My sister met your sister. They had ended oh up getting into God, it. That's I how forgot. we met, too. That's how we met, Bro. too. You remember that shit? Tell them. <laughs> Bro. We got stories for y'all. Yeah, Good that shit is crazy. 
Bro, let's not talk about when they fought. My little sister, <laughs> my little sister, and, and her little sister. They was, was best friends. Was, they was like best friends because they was the same age. They mm-hmm. was like best friends. It was friends. like fucking six. But or it seven. was so funny, yeah, because when they when they had fought, bro. Um, bro, it was so funny. I don't know what the fuck they was fighting over. Some you're, stupid you're, shit. Yeah, I don't know. I think it was because Brenda had these beats. Your sister had these beats in her hair. And then he was like, I want them. She took them off Brenda's hair. And Brenda got mad. And then it's so funny, though, because they, they had they had got into it or whatever. Bro, that same day, they was making dances together in the corner. Like, they were so shit. funny. Like, little kid and stuff. Yeah. At that time, like, I'll tell y'all how, how I see it, right? You feel me? Same, her story... And her brothers was 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 similar to mine. Even my parents were together in South Central, nigga. Some shit happened. We leave. We go to the valley type shit, nigga. And it was a culture shock. You feel me? Yeah. And I remember I was there first. And not, not like that, but there was you were probably one of the first black facts. Yeah. Well, you, I was one of the only the black people out there. Yeah. You feel me? I feel like I, well, Marcus was black and white. And y'all was some of the only only Hispanics out yeah. there too, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So when they land in the school, I remember like yesterday, niggas, some bald head <laughs> niggas walking there, looking like they twins, long ass socks. I'm like. These niggas for sure from LA. You feel me for sure for sure. So yeah. you feel me? I end up getting. I never said nothing to him at first. You feel me? Like we just nigga both would just. You feel me? Look at each other through the classroom and shit. Stare at each other and shit. Be like, our we could sisters, be friends. Um, our sisters get into it and then it make us talk because they got into it. Me and me and him like over overseen the fight. You feel me? We understood like this not our problem. They finna fight. They handled it. We overseen it. It happened or whatever. Where was this? We, and was, then in, we was cool. What, we Elementary in, school. Yeah, we was in. We, we was in Selling, huh? Yeah, yeah. Damn, elementary school. That's uh-huh. crazy. Yeah, we went to elementary school, so you feel me? That's how I end up hanging out with her brother. You, you feel me? And hey, then, low key, fool, and Mount Glee. I don't even like saying our school like that. They don't even get to say that we got to go there because fuck them. But Mount Glee, that shit was, bro. The school police was bullshit. They was getting us like we was fucking adults, right. bro. But they was harassing, bro. We was getting followed walking home, like, cause of these motherfuckers. Bro, do you remember that one time y'all fucking took me to the wash? We ran from the police because these motherfuckers took me to an abandoned wash. <laughs> and we just here run. I, I look, and they're running. And leave me. Like, what the fuck? And then I'm running, and then that's it. Act like they go get, they ask somebody from the liquor store to get them a blunt. Y'all would do that shit all the time, too. We and they acted like fuck. nothing happened. Like, we didn't just run from the police. I had this big-ass backpack. Like, it's crazy. it was crazy. We used to be thugging, for real. Yeah. No cap, your brother was like my closest friend. You feel me? Like growing up, that was my dog. You know what I'm saying? So I want to get into, um, you feel me? You said you had a crazy, we already went over your, you feel yeah. me? A lot of shit, crazy ass life. You know what I'm saying? So I, I met, how we end up really getting close is, you feel me? Her sister and them get into it. You feel me? I mean, her brother, we hanging out every day. I'm in their house every day at mm. this point. Like we older, I leave for They would little- dick. They would wait for my parents to leave and go back inside the house. like Smoking weed all day, yep. ditching. You feel me? Her brother put me on a lot of <laughs> shit, but I ain't gonna, we ain't going to do all that. But um, can we get into, you feel me? You said in your family, you lost two people. Mm-hmm. Can you tell us mm-hmm. a story a little bit about that? You feel me? About how you lost two people and, and walk us through that crazy ass shit. Walk us through how we both lost some people. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... You got it. You so, got this shit. Um, uh, my brother passed twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Yeah, like yeah. right after his birthday type shit. Uh, I say two people because. Mm. You got this shit. Mm. Take your time. Mm, like a lot of people would be like, little stuff like that too is for is weird because it be nigga motherfuckers in my DMs like, oh yeah yeah you know people that have beef with my brother type shit like your mm-hmm. brother you your brother like it was no gang shit. <laughs> it was never no gang shit. My brother did not get. It was. Uh, some crazy ass family shit. Some family shit, yeah. Something that like, uh, mm, my dad did it. So, mm, take your time. Mm, yeah, it was crazy. 
that shit like that shit feel like that, that shit feel like that shit's horrible. Like that shit made me feel like I need to be the man now. Like you know, like it seems like thank you. Like um, yeah, just that. Like we lost two people, and now I'm the man of the house type shit. Like you know, my mom lost a husband and a son. We all lost a brother and a dad. My no, like hell yeah, I lost my homie. Yeah, so type shit. Yeah. Yeah, you feel me? It was crazy ass shit. You feel me? I I know from my perspective, I me and him was hella, hella tight. I ended up getting into some shit and I had to leave. I had to leave the city or whatever and I ended up moving to LA and we would just connect through Facebook and shit. And I remember I, I started blowing up with the rapping. Bro, yeah. he was so proud of you. Like mm. he he would be like, see, that could be you. Like mm. he'd be like, and that's my homie. We know him. Like, imagine like that was my homie. Like he he was just so proud to be your homie, you know, mm. so it was That's crazy cool, yeah. as a motherfucker. I remember he had hit me one day and he like. He and like, Jason, he, he would make an Instagram one day and forget the password and make a new one. Like, he was he not was a not social a, media. So, nigga. Hell no, he, he was care. not. He didn't give a fuck about a phone. Like, Facts. We, we, if you talk bro, to him, I got you my talk first phone when I was 17. Like, I wouldn't even be able to get. I had a, we were in the house and we had a phone. We was getting that shit checked every other time. Mm. Like, I couldn't even. Well, yeah, that's why it's fucked up because, you know. Well, our dad did teach us a lot of shit too, but we can't. It's not even. It's not even. I don't even feel proud of even. Hmm. So I, I don't. I don't want to go too. You, you feel me? We we can if you comfortable, but like you know, like how to how did that shit like affect the whole family when like your pops, you, you know, what I'm saying Bro. do that shit to my nigga Jason, you know, and then he pass away. Well, our whole family is fucked up now. <laughs> Because, like, like, you knew, like, you would have never thought that would happen. Like, Facts. We were like, all so close. Yeah, like, like, but when you, uh, like, a functional druggie mm -hmm. and you don't have it that one day, you could flip. Hmm. And I guess, I don't know, that's probably what happened, but our whole family's fucked up, fool. All of us. Every single one of us. That's why it, and that's why they got you. And that's why you up here, because we're going to make this shit happen. Yeah, like, um, I try to, like, be really uplifting, because, you know, like, I try to, like, just, um, like, I be like, damn, I done went, I, like, when this shit end, like, I been, this is fucked up, like, why the fuck? But then I be like, damn, there's somebody else that, like, it was worse. Like, I think, I, I think about the little kid, Gabriel, that thing that happened, like, kids that got tortured, I try to think that, makes me feel like okay there's other people that have been through shit like where sh i try not to say this is the worst that happened to me because god's always going to show you the worst could happen mm. and i don't want to lose my mom my brother another one like you know right so when i i don't know but yeah our whole family's fucked up like they lost they lost a the brother they lost well my brother's sisters like our ha family was so close bro like, i'm talking about the family functions was at grandma's house every fucking Saturday type shit, you know? So it was like, where did this shit, like, what happened? Like, I don't know. We're all fucked up, though. This shit, this shit still feel like yesterday to us. That's a fact. Yeah, every time. Like, I can't even look, I can't really even look at pictures and stuff like that because this happens. Like, it's hard. Like... You're losing a sibling as hard as a motherfucker. It yeah. gotta be. I, that ain't never happened to me. And, and knock on wood, but I, I know that's crazy. You know, so it's, yeah. so it's definitely some hard shit to do with. You feel me? And I heard about it from. I think Julian hit me. I think Julian hit me and told me. You know, Damn. and I was like, I was like, you lying? I'm like, nah, hell nah. You feel me? It, it that fucked me up. It? it fucked me up. It fucked me up. Cause you know, I used to be in your house every yeah. day. I used to be in the house, and I'm like, you know how. How how your brothers looked up to him, you know? And I'm like, hell nah. We all, like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, when I heard about that shit, it fucked me up, you feel me? I remember getting invited to this shit. I came. I couldn't. I couldn't. I was in that motherfucker I know you, you, yeah. I, I was in that I, motherfucker balling. I couldn't. I couldn't. I had to get up, walk out. I couldn't. I, I couldn't. You feel me? Because I'm like, nigga, this is my dog. Like, you know? This is my boy. Like, nigga, 
me and me and that nigga had each other back through whatever you feel me we in the streets thugging doing our thing you know yeah so like that shit for sure fucked me up so i remember when when i seen you started rapping i'm like nah like i you feel me whatever i could do whatever i could do you feel me because nigga this my dog sister whatever yeah. i could do you feel me gonna get this shit rocking you know whatever a nigga could you know i ain't rich so like you feel me whatever resources i can you feel me yeah. that's why we in this motherfucker you was already going crazy with your music shit you know so i yeah. feel like it was the time you feel me to bring you up here and and you know and i bring all this shit up because we don't give a fuck about no views and no shit like that i know it's somebody who look like you who going through some shit exactly like that. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. some motherfuckers would be some some shit that happened to them and they don't know how to react. And like, honestly, like, I don't even like saying all that Latino and black shit, but this is Latino. We are very, I'm sure with y'all too, you know, but uh, like y'all more outspoken when it comes to shit like that. Like us, we're more like, don't say shit. Like you can't say nothing. Like hmm. keep that shit to yourself. Like my mom's been begging me to go to therapy. Hmm. Like, bro, I'm still a mess. I'm still doing what the, like, I'm still doing what, like, you know? She's begging me to go to therapy. But it's just, like, it's not, like, how it was. You're going to keep that shit to yourself. And, but it fucks you up. So I would recommend, like, if y'all could do it, you know? Because if, if I could really literally sit there and talk to someone, I would. Mm. You know? But it's, like, it's more so, like, did you go, did something like this happen to you? No. All right, then what the fuck I'm talking to you about it for? Mm. Like, that's how I always felt, you know? And at the end of the day, I go home with this shit. Nobody else does. You know, I cry in my room by myself. So, yeah. Hell, you want to, you feel me, put y'all on game about, you know, because motherfuckers will lose people, don't know how to react, you feel me, nigga. She's still doing her thing. She's still doing music. She ain't let this shit stop her, you feel me. And that's what I wanted to bring up, an uh, example of, of somebody who'll go through some hard-ass shit, keep pushing through, keep doing their thing, and keep staying consistent, you know? Yeah. That and I think that that you a perfect example of that. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. For sure, it. for sure. You feel me? So, um, you got any mixtapes? We need some tapes. We need some albums. We need some shit. I you feel know. Me? Play coming? me in with some producers, man. These shit. motherfuckers suck. Oh wait, though. No. Shout out, um, late on play for real, cause that's the only motherfucker that I've heard since my boy eighty nine passed. All right, let me talk about that for real quick for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, break uh, that down too, because you said that was your first producer or your real, first engineer. Real, real producer. Where mm -hmm. I went to shoot, I was like, oh, this shit. Okay, this shit real, like. That, that fool... That's like your Metro Boomin' and you 21. Bro, what? He heard me rap me like, what the fuck? Like, he he loves me. As soon as he met me, he embraced me. He loved me. He's like, I don't give a fuck about the money. I got all the equipment. I'm like, we're going to make this shit happen. Like, I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you up there. Like, that fool ended up passing away. What happened? Uh, he had cancer. Down? Yeah, he mm. had cancer. And it's fucked up, too, because... Mm, the day I found out my brother passed... Uh, that was February 15th. 89 passed February 20th on 2023. Mm. And 23 already mean a lot to me. You see that shit? That too, like, a lot of people ask me, like, what was up with 23? Like, a lot of people, I get banged on a lot for that mm. shit too. So, but it's Man, not no, nothing. It's, it's not, yeah, it's my brother. Uh, well, I don't know if you've seen, but that fool had a tattoo on his hand right here it was 23 mm -hmm. and he always be like that's my lucky number like just say it and my brother Mauricio clown him like why are you getting a 23 for like what the <laughs> fuck like he probably, he, he probably like you should have got some shit for the hood first. yeah like what the hell he was like why'd you get a 23 and then he was like man that's my lucky number that's when I'm done like mm. and then yeah he passed away when he was 23 mm. and then um his birthday is a 23 and then um on the clock it's one two three four five six seven eight nine right if it's if you point the clock to two three, it's two fifteen the day he died. <laughs> so it's it's like that, it's you know. Some symbolic shit it's for some, you. yeah, it's deeper than that shit. So stop asking me where I'm from. Mm -hmm. And then, <laughs> but um, now with the eighty nine shit, uh, that's why it's crazy too. Like I think it is really like because he he passed away five days, three three years later, five days after my brother. Mm. So it's all like, but yeah, that fool believed in me so much, like. I'm talking, he'll go with me everywhere. He he put me on to a lot of shit, too. He was like, you're a female. Like, you got to be careful. Like, he, if you didn't see me, you would If you see me, you seen him, basically. And that's what it was. And that's why I'm not settling for nothing less. Uh-uh. And I know what the fuck I'm wearing. I know what I bring to the table. So if you can't match that, you got to go. You're just a burden. Like, type shit. But, yeah.
That's that's, that's the motherfucker that was like, you're not giving up. He would be in my ear every fucking day. Like, after even my brother passed, that day that my brother passed, he told me he had cancer. Mm. And I was just like, damn. He's like, I don't want, I'm not going to tell you this because, I'm going to tell you this right now because, you know, you know shit's already going down. Like, all right, you know, that shit, that whole, he was still trying to work with me. Like, we was still trying to get it when his bones wasn't hurting type shit. Like, mm. you know, man, I love that fool, but yeah, rest in peace, 89. I love that fool. Most definitely. Rest in peace to all, you feel me? Yeah, both, the both my that you peace. Lost. So how how do you stay motivated, you feel me, and, and inspired to continue making music and shit, you feel me, with, with all the hard shit? My family. Mm. Yeah, um, you know, I keep treating myself like a regular motherfucker, but all these, like him, my homegirl outside, my boy outside, everybody around me be like, bro, what are you doing? Why are you working a 14-hour job? Like... Oh, you should be doing this shit. Like, get the fuck. Like, what are you doing? Like, start posting content. I just be like, bro, it's in. Like, I don't care about that. Like, but it's like now I'm starting to be like, nah, this shit. Uh, uh-uh, I'm, I'm done. Like, I'm ready to start living in my purpose. All right. And for yeah, a long yeah. time, it was hard, you know, because you know this shit just going on. It is hard when you got other shit going on at home, but that's why you just gotta put that shit into the music. And that's when I use my ADHD and be like. You know, <laughs> mm-hmm. and start going crazy. Yeah, no, for Hell real. Yeah, you feel me? So what we, what can we look forward to in the future from you? Shit. Yeah. Now before you answer that, where you see yourself with this shit in ten years? Where you see, where you want to take this music shit? Where you want to take? I uh, already up there. Already up there. When I already want a Grammy, all that. I'm already did this. I I want to do Super Bowl. I want to do all that shit for like. Mm. I'm not trying to just stay in LA. Fuck this. I'm the LA. Like no, I don't care. I want to go, I want to hit New York, I want to hit Greece, I want to hit all that shit. I'm trying to be, bro, there has not been a Latina Nikki, a Latina, a Latina that's taking it like that, like how y'all take it, mm-hmm. y'all, y'all females, you know? I want to be that per, uh, that one, like, and I'm going to be, so I don't, shit, st- st- like, you know, step up if you want to. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we going to make that shit happen, you feel me, no cap, because I want her brother was like, nigga, my sister rap, and I'm like, bet. You yeah, we're going to tap in and we're going to get that shit going, you know? So, yeah, what can we see next from you? You feel me musically, oh, shit, man? My what you got okay, going um, on? No, that's good. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. I'm going to just keep dropping singles and shit. Uh, I really do want to work on, a like, a mixtape or album. But I'm telling you, like, when it when for that, I want a, pro- like, I don't know, the way I work is kind of weird, but I want a producer, the same producer for all of it, like, you want to be able to work real close to somebody. Yeah, you don't and I want it to feel people. like family. I want it to be like, hey, I call you and be like, hey, you finished that shit? Like, mm-hmm. And I'd be like, I got to text you and be like, oh, I, I like, you, nah, you nah, nah, nah. Yeah, if you believe in this shit, let's get it going. Because what I got, I got shit to, like, I got a family to take care of. Like, this fucking L.A. rent ain't fucking, it's like, if you living in L.A., you are already you know. basically with, like, rich. Because, bitch, it's this expensive. rent is bullshit. And so is the groceries, so is the food. Bitch, uh-uh. <laughs> so, so, you know, like, nah, I'm actually, I really take care of people. So this shit got to happen, like, and I'm ready. Because if you give me your 100, I'm going to give you 110. That's a fact, man. Hey, I think this was an amazing motherfucking interview. Mm-hmm. I didn't know her since I was a, a motherfucking kid. You feel me, man? Our brother was like this. If we was talking all day, we would tell you all the crazy, but it, we, we can't Yeah, we, we couldn't, couldn't give y'all, shit, the, we like, couldn't like, give y'all the, the real yeah. shit. No cap, me and her brother didn't been through some shit. Shit together. He she told, told me shit. Y'all, she was yeah. like, this nigga was crazy. I'm telling y'all, y'all don't. Nigga try to transition out of that, you know, and, and and grow into a new motherfucker. But man, growing up, we was causing hell. I'm not even playing, hell. bro. McDonald's cops we was, was getting called. Hell. Taco Bell cops was getting called. We the bus, bro, we got kicked out the bus one time because of these motherfuckers. <laughs> oh my God. We used to cause the hell, man. We had to walk. Look, y'all <laughs> need to make sure y'all tune in, man. Tell the people where they can find you everywhere. Uh, Por Vida on everything. Spell yeah. that for them just in case. P O R V I D A. Yeah. Yeah, man. Y'all tap in. What are you feel me? No cap. This been another no jumper interview. You feel me? I'm almighty. You feel me? I'm oh yeah. Shout out to you too, fool. You I appreciate know. you. Love you for that. Of for course. Real. You already know, gang. Feel me? And we out of here. This another one.